Hey, what's up guys? It's the number one Pred here, and today what I'll be bringing you guys is a 100% accuracy chem strike. So basically in this gameplay, it's pretty much self-explanatory, but uh, for those who don't know, it's when every bullet I shoot hits the target, and I get the kill with one, one sh basically one shot, one kill, and I don't miss a single shot, so it's a pretty cool gameplay. Um, I was using the TAC-12 shotgun, and if you are going for this challenge, it isn't actually easy, but it is easier going with the shotguns. Uh, TAC-12 being was was good, probably the best choice actually. Uh, the FP-6 would have been another decent choice, however, it doesn't seem to be as consistent as the TAC-12, which is why I used it. I'm more in the comfort zone where I'm using this gun instead of the FP-6, mainly because this one has like 10 bullets in a mag compared to the uh, FP6 having 5 or something so um, I think I had extended mags on in this gameplay as well because um, you don't really need like two attachments really all you really need is muzzle brake but knowing me I always need a second attachment I don't want to leave a gap empty when there is potential not potential but uh, when you have a choice why not just take it so I decided to stick extended mags on for no particular reason at all I suppose you could have used a red dot sight as well because obviously that pinpoints your accuracy but I do think that would have worked with slug rounds but uh, if you want to go for 100% accuracy slug rounds makes it like 10 times harder because obviously you have to be completely pinpoint but with shotgun without uh, slug rounds obviously it has the pellets that spread out which makes it easier to hit fire and stuff like that which you see me do a lot in this gameplay also you may have noticed I've sped it up a little bit and that's mainly because just to just to you know stop questions of legitimacy over this gameplay uh, basically what people may have done if I was to you know switch from that like, one clip or just cut out one part of the gameplay to skip to another where there's more action Basically, people may have questioned the legitimacy of it because I would have potentially missed a shot and not shown it. Um, but either way, even if I did that, you could obviously just tell by the ammo in the bottom corner. But some people aren't exactly that smart. So just to stop any sort of con controversy or whatever, then I decided to speed it up. So you can still see the gameplay, but I'd speed up the boring parts. So hopefully that clears everything up about this gameplay. Also, if anyone gets a, a gameplay with an LMG getting yeah, 100% accuracy, please, please show me because I know there'll be people saying, oh, you got this shotgun that takes no skill. Um, you could also do this with a sniper. It would be a little bit harder with a sniper, obviously, um, because most of the maps do it contain close waters. And if you had to do it with a sniper, you'd mainly want to do it on like maps like Stonehaven or Stormfront. But you won't get so much traffic at once. If anyone gets like a hundred percent accuracy with like a different like gun category, make sure to sh like send me or link me or whatever. I'll be interested to see it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it over the gameplay for the last minute or so. I'm just going to quickly talk about this skill gap in Advanced Warfare and my thoughts on it. And if it actually plans out and works really well, I'm going to be really happy because. Um, there are a lot of ways on Ghosts and Black Ops 2 where you could just get easy kills without literally any skill taking place into that. Just for an example, quick scoping on uh, like games like Ghosts and Black Ops 2 with the lag and stuff like that and the hit detection. On oh, Ghosts, you don't even need to hit the guy to quick scope him, literally. I mean, on Advanced Warfare, apparently they're going to make it a lot harder, which is obviously good news for me because I hate getting killed off of streaks because of uh, getting like quick scope by a guy going 3 and 20 just luckily hitting a shot on me I don't want any of stuff like that and I kinda want it to be like Black Ops 1 because people who were uh, who, people who could quick scope on Black Ops 1 were really good I think that that took the most skill because people who you know spent time and mastered it were actually the dominant players for quick scoping I kinda want stuff like that to happen and also with LMGs please don't put thermal sights and stuff like that on I mean that just lowers the skill gap completely so hopefully they do just little tweaks like this and the game will be absolutely insane I'm not even gonna lie I'm really pumped for the game hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay have a great day and peace.